All right, NT8 on the porch. We're going to go through the Consumer Reports top 10 most reliable bikes. Yeah, I was kind of debating, should I start at the bottom? Should I start at the top? I think I'll do the David Letterman thing and I'll start at the bottom and work my way up to the top. All right. Now, the numbers I'm going to give you are the percentage of fail. And keep in mind, these are four-year-old bikes. Number 10. Can-Am. I don't know anybody that owns a Can-Am. 42% failed. Number nine, BMW. Really? Really? 40% fail. Jesus Christ. How did I know BMW would rank that high or that low? However you want to look at it. After dealing with uh, the oil leaking bitch. But now it's out of warranty so I can fix it. But it don't leak no oil now that it's out of warranty. So. Alright, number eight is Ducati. Ducati. Now I do happen to know a Ducati guy. Vilma, I always question your decision why you bought a Ducati, and it's got a 33% failure rate, so you might want to get that bike to the curb. Next one is Triumph at 29%. Wow, I really hate to do this, but Suburban Rider, you need to get rid of that. 29% failure rate. Next up is Harley Davidson. I'm sure my daily seven will enjoy this. At 26% failure rate. Those bicycles never seem to fail, though. Next up is Victories with a 17% failure rate. But Triumph, Harley, and Victory don't make dual sport bikes anymore, so. Whatever. Sorry, Mike Seven. Kawasaki. 15% failure rate. You know what I think that is? I think that's the uh, safety switches. Number three is. Honda. Really? Are you serious? Honda? Honda's run for fucking ever. Must be based on the Rebels. Next up is the Suzuki at 12%. Alphabetically, that doesn't even match up, so I don't know why Honda... has a lower rating than Suzuki when they're both at 12%. But it's got to be for the DR650 toy. 
And the one that fails the least is the Yamaha slash Star. Whatever the fuck that is. 11% fail. So Yamaha is the number one least failing bike. And I'll put the link down in the down in the uh, description so you can go read the article and then there's plenty of uh, plenty of other links in that so you can go see exactly what the deal is. I'm just kind of amazed. Not really. The BMW is number two in the most failures or number ninth in the whole thing doesn't make any sense to me but there you go all right i'm at t8 on the porch just wanted to give you my uh top 10 info on the bikes that fail the most later